it going guys? My name is William Whitlock. I'm the owner and formulator of Leviathan Nutrition and today I want to talk to you guys about curcumin. Now curcumin is a very well studied and well known supplement uh, with a very wide range of health benefits ranging from anything between heart, uh, other organs, and neurodegenerative disorder treatment but in humans suffers from having poor bioavailability. Now there are many studies on its bioavailability and different strategies used to enhance the bioavailability of curcumin so that it's actually effective and de delivering the results that we have seen in the lab in humans. So before we get into that, I'm gonna give a quick overview of curcumin because curcumin is part of the family known as curcuminoids where curcumin is this structure right here and the curcuminoids consists of three different uh, compounds. So curcumin is the first one up here, and it consists of about 77% of the total profile of curcuminoids. The next one um, is demethoxycurcumin, which composes of about 17% of the total amount of curcuminoids. Um, the difference in the structures here is that we can see one of these OCH3 groups, known as a methoxy group, has been removed in this demethoxy curcumin, hence its name. Uh, so this gives it a little bit of different properties which we can dive into later. And lastly of the curcuminoids, we have this demethoxy curcumin, which is the least um, abundant in the curcuminoids with about 3% of the total curcuminoids being composed of this structure. Um, so in this one, as the name suggests, this meaning two, um, both of the methoxy groups have been removed in this structure, again giving it uh, slightly different properties compared to the parent structure of curcumin here. Um, and as I was saying before about the different benefits of curcumin, um, here's just a list of certain uh, treatment benefits that have been studied, well studied in clinical studies. So we can see you have heart disorders, endocrine disorders, lung disorders, uh, cancer treatment, neurodegenerative neurodegenerative disorders, infectious disorders, musculoskeletal disorders, skin disorders, and liver and gastrointestinal disorders as well. To some more of the benefits of curcumin, let's examine the structure more closely so we can get a feel of just what it is in this structure of curcumin that's so unique and that gives it all of these beneficial properties. So as we see, here's the structure of curcumin, and then we break it down into different groups. So group number one right here is the methylene group. This is where both of these sides of the, uh, the curcumin chain are linked together. And basically what curcumin is, is the combination of two different molecules of ferulic acid joined together by this methylene group. This is the structure of ferulic acid. So as you can see here, it is basically just half of this curcumin structure, and then we join it together by the methylene bridge. Okay, so we have the methylene bridge, and then another important part of the curcumin structure are these parts right here, which I've labeled as two. And you can see here that number two is known as these aromatic orthomethoxy phenolic groups. Uh, that might be a, a handful to pronounce, but basically a phenol group is this ring, this aromatic ring here, with this OH group, and methoxy refers to this OCH3 that we have here, and ortho is simply referring to the distance between them. In organic chemistry, ortho means that it's next to them, so these are in an ortho arrangement, thus the name uh, orthomethoxy phenolic groups. So basically, the combination of these two orthomethoxy phenolic groups along with this methylene bridge um, are what gives curcumin its antioxidant activity. So these, both of these uh, functional groups are responsible for the antioxidant activity. Okay, so moving on to another part of the structure with, which I have labeled here as number three. Um, we have this carbon chain with these two um, oxygen groups with double bonds on them. Now this pair of oxygen groups with double bonds can form a structure. This is known as a ketal group, and this can transform 
by grabbing a hydrogen from here and having an OH group up here, which basically results in a more stable structure. Um, there's no reason to really get in that right now, but this is just responsible for more of these stability properties of curcumin. So in the combination of this keto-enol tautomerism combined with the two double bonds you see here on the uh, long carbon chain are able to bond to many different molecules in the human body such as DNA, RNA, enzymes, and numerous carrier proteins. So this is another reason that curcumin has such a profound effects effect on many tissues in the human body just because of the ability of this uh, this part of the structure here to bind to so many of those different target molecules in the human body. Lastly, another part of curcumin structure that gives us it uh, some beneficial properties are these two oxygens right here which I've labeled as number four. So number four here, this gives curcumin the ability to bind to toxic heavy metals in the body. Those toxic heavy metals such as arsenic, lead, and mercury, curcumin is able to uh, what's called as uh, heavy metal chelation, curcumin binds to those heavy metals and is able to withdraw them out of the human body. So this is another reason that curcumin has these beneficial properties, um, removing these toxins. So now that I've identified the different functional groups in curcumin that give them some of their beneficial properties for this molecule, um, in chemistry you can also alter these different functional groups um, in order to create what is known as a synthetic analog of curcumin. Um, but these are not going to be dietary supplements because you are chemically altering the structure. So in the world of dietary supplements, what we can do, however, is um, keep this molecule of curcumin and simply create better delivery systems that are going to um, target the bioavailability and allow the curcumin to be longer lasting in the body for it to have its most beneficial effect.